podcast week eight. My God, eight week eight. Weeks, two months. Technically, it's our seventh podcast because you know we had the we couldn't upload yeah. in China situation. Um, I'll but allow I, it. You'll allow it. Go. Yeah. I think I think I'll allow it. It too. was it was a pretty um, gangster podcast last week. Yeah, it was pretty I agree. Good, I, I agree. It's not definitely, to blow our own horns, but I but I, I had a great. Like, every, great fun. Every time we say yeah. that we've had a lot of fun and we think that it's our best one yet, but it's definitely um, been very much on our minds how on earth we're going to follow up that Shanghai podcast. Obviously, we're not on tour yeah. every single week. Um, but Maybe we should be. Maybe we should be. Maybe we should be. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag help us out, Hannah. Yeah. Hashtag get on tour. Like, let's go. <laughs> um, no, but we do We do have a job to do here in New Zealand as well. Um, so, you know, being be yeah. around is... And we be, did yeah. get reminded about our accent for the whole trip. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The New Zealand accent is very weird. Um, I'm sure any of you guys who have been overseas or even, like, tried to use Cortana and stuff, there are some words that we say <laughs> just, um... Yeah, Cortana do, doesn't, doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always really interesting um, when you are talking to someone, and I, I know that I do it as well, and that if I have to ask them to repeat themselves any more than three times, I just give up and smile yeah. and nod. Because, you know, you, you always feel bad being like, I'm sorry, what was that? I'm not going to lie, definitely, you're definitely just like, do oh, it. I'm just, like, I'm just oh, being so annoying here. But have you ever yeah. done it and, like, you've asked them to repeat themselves and you're like, oh, that's awesome. And they're like, dude, I just told you my cat died. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Never had that. Never had never that. Never had that. I good. haven't yet, but I've heard... Yeah. Um, it was brought to my attention that I have what was referred to as the Hannah Reynolds mm. Ah. Because have you noticed that I do that? Now that somebody has pointed out to me that I do that, I'm incredibly conscious of it. I don't know, I think I'm just really annoying when I'm getting your attention. Yeah, yeah, because you can instantly tell when I'm not listening, but it has been brought to my attention that if I'm, like, because I'm I'm a firm believer in, like, affirmation and conversation. Like, if you're talking to someone and you are listening, like, just make some kind of sound to, like, acknowledge that you're there, you're hearing it. But apparently I do it when I'm not listening. Um, so if somebody tells me something and I've only half taken it and I'll just go, hmm. I'll keep an eye out for it. Yeah, I, I, so yeah. Um, if anybody if anybody ever encounters me and catches me going, hmm, either ask me what you've just said and get me to repeat it or just tell me I'm not listening because it's, it's a problem. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's become, yeah. it's we're, become we're always looking to be better. Always, always looking, looking to be better. better. Always looking to be better. And we are looking to follow up last week's awesome podcast with some awesomeness think, this week. Like, considering how good I think last week's was, again, mm. just like I was, I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> like, blowing yeah, it. blowing my own horn. <laughs> but it was just so fun uh, to film and do interviews with the guys mm. in Shanghai that like it came through in the podcast, right? So totally. we've, we've got we've we've done our best to follow that up. Yeah. Can't promise for next week. Yeah, but, <laughs> but we're trying, doing yeah. our best. we're trying to be better. Yeah. So this week is the week where we're going to finally talk about all of the things that we've alluded to in other podcasts. Yeah, all later. So this is oh, seven. Seven. Um, this is essentially everything we've alluded to and said we'll talk about later yeah. in one podcast. Um, so there's heaps of awesomeness coming up. We're going to be talking about immersive reader, which is something that I know we've dropped in yeah. every single time we've talked about accessibility. Um, we but just had to give it its own little section. You can't talk about immersive reader and how awesome it is. Uh, just in, in passing, right? Passing, like, yeah, yeah. You've got to dedicate yeah. a little bit of time. And I think that we've, I know we're definitely going to come back to this later, but we've picked a prime time to talk about it because immersive reader was something that came into Microsoft Edge as a part of the April update yeah, as well. Yeah, so cool. So it's just gone from here to yeah. here. Um, so we'll tell you a little bit about that, what it's about, who you can show it off to, what's so awesome about it. Um, of course, we've got Question of the Week coming up and that game we alluded to last week. Team Showdown. Team Showdown. We t- we've turned into game hosts. We're, we're, we're not master trainers anymore. We're doing everything. Yeah. Podcasts, trainers. You want to know about something, don't ask trainers. me. No, no, I'm <laughs> joking. Joking, of course. It's still the job done. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll die. quit. I am now <laughs> a game show host. Um, but not really. I like my job. Please keep me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so we played Team Showdown uh, with some of our category team, which was very exciting. Uh, a little bit heated. It, uh, you know, competition really yeah. does bring out the best in everyone. Um, so that was a lot of fun, so I hope you guys enjoy watching that. But first up, let's go to question of the week. This week's question of the week, and I promise it seems a little bit weird to start with, but there will be some context brought into it. Fletcher, do you prefer City or Serenity? I prefer Serenity. Okay, and I deliberately chose this question yeah. because I knew that <laughs> we had our closing views on this. I knew that was going to yeah. be your answer. Why? What is it Why? about a serene environment so, that, you, that you enjoy? 
as as much as I talk, sorry for PG Cod podcast, but a bit of BS sometimes. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually quite a laid back guy, and mm. what I enjoy doing is is just chilling. Nothing better than getting mates and stuff around to just you know have a good old like chat sesh, catch up, yeah. Um, just have a good time, and that kind of flows yeah. through to where I um, like to to live and stuff. So. Yeah. Um, I, I've always loved kind of living in a, a semi-rural environment and like when I grew up mm. I was in, a, in it a lot of the time next to farms and funnily enough where I'm building um, my house at the moment is got a farm on one side, got an empty field on the other with, with pine forest on mm. hills. It's going to be very, very cool looking forward to it but I just like, like that laid back environment because I'm a laid back dude. See, and I love the idea of that, and interestingly, when I was a child, I wanted nothing more than to be a farmer when I grew up. Oh, um, head of the farmer. Believe it or not. And now I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> um, so I, I, like, I, I wish I could be one of those people who just loves like a chill environment, but as you may tell, I'm not the most laid back person. Um, I wish I was, but like, I just, I enjoy busyness. I enjoy being busy. Yeah. I find that I'm just a more productive, better person. Um, so I prefer the city. Like I like being close to things. I like having some kind of consistent noise around. Like if I'm at home and there's nothing happening, I've got music on. Yeah. Like I've got to have something going. Just need to get a bunch of cows, they'll move. Um, no, not the kind of, no, no, not, not what you're looking no. for. No, I think, you know, the idea of yeah. like getting up and milking at like five o'clock in the morning just yeah. doesn't um, fit with the lifestyle that I'm really going for. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that, you know, catering, being able to cater to different people and their different likes and dislikes um, is something really important. So the reason that we're talking about what we prefer in terms of environment is because along with the April update, uh, and I'm not sure, I think I, we might have dropped this into conversation, might have been one of those things we alluded to but didn't actually talk about, um, was there is now a Skyloft experience in Windows Mixed Reality as well. I love the name of it. <laughs> I do what too, a good yeah. Name. So obviously we've had the cliff house, which is over on this side. Um, for you guys who have experienced it, it's magical. Like you step out onto the deck and there's, you know, a beautiful serene area. There's, um, you know, water, there's cliffs, there's greenery. Um, you can hear nature sounds. Um, you can tell that I'm just not the right person to yeah. be talking about it because I'm like, oh, there's all of that peaceful <laughs> That's <so> stuff. Fun. <laughs> yeah. But with the skyloft, you look out of your window and you see like a. Um, city skyline and all of that kind of stuff like at night it glows um just just yeah. magical like if, if you've seen my instagram um i'm very much i'm all <laughs> playing myself regularly <laughs> um but i'm all about the views and like for me nothing gets me like gets me more than like city lights at night yeah um, like, i can see that from my rural environment yeah but not... it's so in the distance <laughs> like it I don't makes know, like, it better <laughs> Can you see the Harbour Bridge light show from your sky loft in the middle of town? I don't live in the middle of town, so no. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> but I can. I can. Magic. Okay. Across the, the west I've harbour. I've still Western never harbour seen Auckland. the the light show on the Harbour Bridge. Oh, I get Last time my mum was up. Oh. all the time. Oh, great. Last time mum was up, she was like, if we do one thing, I want to see the light show on the Harbour Bridge. Spring Ray went over. Well, well <laughs> next time she's up, probably, because we ended up driving over the bridge Yeah. just as it was going off, and apparently it happens like every 40 minutes or something. No, it goes uh, constantly. Constantly, yeah. okay, well I clearly, do I live in this city? I don't know. No. Um, so yeah, and Windows Mixed Reality, let's go back on track where... Yeah, sorry, talking <laughs> about the light show at the Harbour um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so having these two home environments, um, when we talked about Mixed Reality, the Cliff House was very much designed to be your home within Windows, similar to your Windows desktop. So having that area where you can personalise your content, you know, you've got your pot plant, you've got your couch, you've got all of those kinds of things, um, and having that space. So obviously no size um, fits all, um, so having those two different options um, to best suit the kind of environment that you like to be able to personalise to how you like it, uh, I think is super, super cool. So, very cool. Yeah, being able to switch between the two and just have that option. Of course, we talk about Windows a lot, and how providing customers with an option um, is the best thing um, about Windows. And the fact that we now have that with a mixed reality as well, I think is super, super awesome. All right, so as promised, we are finally gonna talk about immersive reader. As I said, we've alluded to it an awful lot. Oh um, we've talked a little bit about it. Without, like, we're talking about accessibility. Immersive reader is such a key point of that. 
Um, so we are going to drop in a video now, uh, which I think really sets the scene for how powerful this tool really is. The true purpose of education is to create possibility. It was a little hard for me. People laugh whenever I read sometimes. Well, they knew how to read, and I didn't. I will never be good at reading. I will probably be held back again. It highlights the words to know where I am. When it's reading, I see spaces between the words. And it's easy to focus on. The first time I actually could read that book, I was proud of myself. I was very proud of myself. Good job, Joey. When technology and education come together, possibility becomes reality. I want to read every book in here. What a video. What a video. I think, like, nothing gets you more in the yeah. feels than kids, right? <laughs> like, and, like, oh man, those those kids. Um, it was a cool video because, yeah, you, you see how you know, it improves the kids' lives and it improves it so fast. Mm. But uh, I love how they still cut in what it actually looks like and how it's actually utilised. So Absolutely. Good good video to kind of introduce a yeah. uh, immersive reader to us. Yeah, so do you want to tell us, obviously you guys saw sort of a, a little bit of how it works and what it can do um, in that video, but Flex, you want to tell us a little bit more about immersive reader, what you can use it in um, and how, how to get it. Yeah, definitely. As well. So Immersive Reader is absolutely awesome. It's available in quite a few applications now. So um, you got it in Edge, which came as part of the April update, mm -hmm. Office Lens, Outlook, Word, and OneNote when you download a very, very cool plugin we'll talk about in a second called Learning Tools, which um, you might be able to see the link on the slide. If you can't, we'll definitely, you know, share it. OneNote.com forward slash learning tools. What an easy link to remember. But yeah, Immersive Reader is really cool. What it does is it takes text, you know, whether it's converted from a photo on Office Lens or, or on a website, mm. and it will enable you to split that text up into syllables, yep. um, highlight nouns, adjectives, and verbs, which is, is very, very cool. So imagine how much easier that is for, you know, someone who's learning to read or who has mm. dyslexia or has a learning disability mm. not only is it split up into manageable chunks so even if they're reading aloud uh, along with it you know they can mm. they can say a syllable at a time it also Absolutely. highlights nouns adjectives and verbs which i'm terrible absolutely terrible with it's one of those delightful skills that you learn in school and then when you get into the real yeah. world recognize that unless it's your field you don't really don't really... Don't really know. I, I know that I've mentioned this before and I know that it's very evident because I talk over people all the time. Um, <laughs> but I use a lot of words in a sentence. Yeah. Um, and parts of these tools I found really helpful. Um, like there is like a clear and concise within word, which is something different. Um, yeah. But once again, like just while we're on this path, so many different things to kind of talk about. So many tools that are available to help us be better um, but I think what's so powerful about this is it gives you the tools to do it yourself. Definitely. Um, I know that I've definitely complained on this podcast before about how terrible I am at maths um, but it got to the point like when I was at school I didn't want to ask the question. Yeah. Um, and you know you saw from oh just so heartbreaking the kids in that video you know like people laughing at them like sometimes kids are awful yeah. um, but you know people laughing at them and just not feeling like equal to their peers and stuff. I think giving them something where they can go home or even in the classroom you know they can see it split out so it's easier for mm. them to read they can get it to read it back to them if they're struggling with a certain section um, I know personally like I'm just a super slow reader and that's just because I am um, so having something you know where where I can get it to read it back to me that's a yeah. more efficient way for me to do things definitely because like uh, one one thing, and I don't want to trash my English teachers at school because I got on with all of them really, really fantastically. Mm. But um, the way that you know a lot of the stuff was taught, I never clicked with. Like, yeah, I'm actually a, a good reader, um, but it was when it came to nouns, verbs, adjectives, proverbs. Is proverbs one, or is that? I, I think no, that I'm that's getting a bit religious stuff, there. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> pronouns. Pronouns. That's yeah. the one. See, just me saying that, obviously 
shows <laughs> that you that there was a gap somewhere there's a big gap. I never learned this and it's just because the way that it got taught never actually clicked with my mind. Mm. Whereas I feel something like this would have made my life so much easier. Like um, yeah. we, we were talking about it a bit before so I now know that adjectives are describing words mm. um, which I'll probably forget and have to remember again later. But yeah, just the the way that this puts a very um, very easily laid out um, yeah. way to look at things would have really really helped me when I was learning. And I think that it's been done in such a, a special and creative kind of way, um, where it does cater to all of those different learning types. Yeah. Like it's a very visual thing because uh, I don't know how well you can see, um, but you definitely would have seen in that video how it color codes things, and you can see the color, so you know that something purple with an edge. Um, is a noun, something green is an adjective, um, and then when it reads it aloud back to you, that's putting another sense in there. So really helping the way, you know, no one size fits all, so it's yeah. catering to the different sizes and different ways that people learn. And once again, this is a free tool um, within Microsoft Edge. Um, it's also on OneNote, wi um, Windows, Word. <laughs> Word, Outlook, Office Lens, and yeah, with the April update, it is now in Edge as well. Yeah. So probably um, just two last things I want to really quickly go over. Um, just so you guys know, to access it in Edge, you do need to go into reading mode, which is that mm. little book, yep. um, which is uh, next to your, your URL bar. Mm. But um, learning tools in OneNote, like, definitely download that plugin and just have a go because it's not mm. just immersive reader. There's a lot of really cool things that it introduces. So um, it properly introduces Dictate. Um, awesome. And... and a, a lot of other features that really really help there's so many that it's it's kind of hard to go over it it almost needs its own little section again but it's very powerful and it's a very well constructed tool so um, we for instance had someone with a very heavy Scottish accent um, talking talking to to dictate when um, we were in a little seminar for ourselves and his English got picked up perfectly then he switched mm. to German I can't read German, so I'm relying on him, but he said it, it, it came out perfectly on that too. So it's very cool. And then, of course, you can use Immersive Reader to split those things up and, and highlight the nouns and objectives, so it all works better together. That's uh, awesome. I never thought about that. Yeah. What a great way to learn a language. A, a really good way, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, um, I'm genuinely trying to use um, Translate and stuff to learn a bit more Vietnamese for, for my family. Um, who live awesome. in Vietnam, so that's that's one cool thing as well. That's really cool, and um, I'm glad you mentioned that because when these new features or features I've recently discovered um, come into play, I always challenge myself to find a personal use for it, and yeah. I absolutely encourage you guys to do the same um, because we all know how, how powerful a great story is. Like that video, like it's not just spinning a yarn, it's not talking about it for the sake of talking about it. It's a way that you practically use it, and if you can use it that way, someone else can probably use it Definitely. that way as well. Um, so I, I use uh, Immersive Reader quite a lot, um, because as I mentioned before, I'm not the fastest of readers, so having something read aloud to me um, really allows me to kind of soak it in, pick things up, like I learn really well at conferences, group activities, all of those kinds of things. Um, so my probably the key thing for me is PowerPoint presentations. I do an awful lot of them, it's essentially what I yeah. do for a living. Um, I usually put together a presentation for myself to do, um, but if I receive one from someone, I like there to be presenter notes so I can kind yeah. of understand the context. So that's something that I personally absolutely hate doing. I hate putting notes in a PowerPoint. <laughs> it's really time consuming, just really annoying. But I've started using Dictate within PowerPoint to write those notes. So much easier. So much easier. I think I had mentioned this before, I'm not I sure. I totally stole um, it from Hannah. It's but I, but I just yeah. talk about it all the time. As soon as anybody asks me for something, I'm like, do you know how I did that? And a great <laughs> work smarter, not harder kind of fashion, where yeah. essentially I'll just like stand in like a small meeting room or like in my bedroom or something, and I'll just like deliver the presentation to my computer and it types out everything for me just by dictation, which is awesome. And then vice versa, the way that I use that um, with Immersive Reader is I'll copy and paste somebody else's notes into OneNote and then I'll get it to read it aloud to me and I'll flip through um, the presentation. Yeah. So it's almost like somebody's actually giving me that. So I can kind of, it, it's really helpful for contextualizing and all of that kind of thing to, to just, you know, once again, work smarter, not harder um, and just be better. Be better. Be better. What and, a great note. 
great night and yeah I highly 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 recommend um, that you guys try this out yourselves um, you will definitely yeah. learn something let us know what your your favorite feature from those learning tool plugin is and uh, we'll maybe do a bit of talking about it or give it a go ourselves if we haven't tried it already yeah absolutely we we love learning from you guys I think every podcast comment there has been so far we've also learned something as well yeah um, so please um, share this with us um, I know that a lot of you guys do have uh, your own children um, so send them to school with us yeah. um, and really, really revolutionise how, how things are taught and how people learn in the classroom as well. Cool. Alright, the time we've all been waiting for. <laughs> team Showdown. <laughs> you just went for it. You took that Microsoft Team Showdown. I'm very excited. We had a lot of fun filming yeah. this. Obviously, I, you're wearing the same clothes. Yeah, I think you wear that t-shirt every, every day. day. Don't got worry, he's them. got five of People them. People think I don't wash, but I do. But you do. I am a hygienic person. Thanks Excellent. very much. Excellent. Good. I'm sorry yeah. to call you out, man. That's okay. But obviously, I, we I did told this. you to read a book earlier. So. Yeah, we did this the <laughs> other day. Um, we had heaps of fun filming it. There, there was a bit of tension in the room. Competitive... Um, Gotta say sports, yeah. game shows. Yeah, we've got um, competitive people in office. Yeah, as you'll be yeah. able to see from the the debut of Team Showdown. Hello and welcome to Microsoft Team Showdown. This is very similar to a game that you may have seen before, um, but obviously we're we're not totally stealing it. We're just taking the idea and making it our own. So welcome to our two teams. Would you like to introduce yourselves, guys? Yes, yes. we are. We are Karen's crew. Karen's yeah, crew, nice. And what does your buzzer sound, Karen's crew? Susan okay. Excellent. Oh, hi, uh, we are Susan Solitaires. Yes. Beautiful. And what does your buzzer sound, Susan Solitaires? Zoom. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, we all know how to play the game. Let's start with round one. So what we do when you ask the question, and the question is, we've, we've actually um, surveyed 100 RSPs to get this question. So we want to know, what are the key selling points of the Surface Laptop? Oh. oh, in there straight away. You've just got to come up with one that is one, one of, of these five, five reasons. Answers. Remember, it's from RSP, so... The Alcantara keyboard. Alcantara keyboard. Is it on the board, Fletch? Do, 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 do. It is. Now, I think we'd like to play the round. Uh, You're going to play the round? Play the round. Alright, excellent. So, Mr. Matthew Reed, now it is uh, your your turn to pick one of five available options on the board. So, can you repeat the question? So, the question is, <laughs> what are the key selling points of the Surface Laptop? Is it the high resolution screen? Is a high resolution. Is it on the board, Let's please? Let's check. Let us know. Screen. Oh. Oh. All right, so you get three incorrect answers, and then it gets passed to the other oh. team. So, yeah. Karen, it's on you. Security. Security. Ooh. Do we think it? Oh, should we? Would you like to slightly alter the the answer? You're very close. You're very close. What provides it with that security? Windows 10 S. Oh, is tennis on the board? Windows. Yes. Tennis. Oh, excellent, excellent. Jono, it's back to you. We've got three options left. You guys haven't got the number one spot yet. Okay, I would like to go with thin and light. Thin and light. Oh, very close, but. Oh, oh no! Alright, you guys have one more chance. If you get this incorrect, yeah. it goes to Susan Solitaire to steal the round. One of the key things is we've got to put ourselves in someone else's shoes when we're thinking yeah. about the answers. Understood, this is yeah. RSPs. RSPs. Yes. So, no pressure, Matt, but... Can you repeat the question again? <laughs> <laughs> what are the key selling points of the Surface Laptop? Five, four, three, two, one. Give us an answer. Oh. Or out. Oh. 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 Okay. oh, bonus round. Oh, no, no, no. I thought there was a bonus round sound. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Karen's crew. Oh, God. Come on. You only need yeah. one to steal and win the round. If they get it wrong. Yeah. Does it come back? If you, they get it wrong, you guys win. Like, if they yeah, get it wrong, you guys, guys the win the round. Oh. I think they need to have the buzzer right there. I thought I was going to have the other one that you. Oh, I had, I had about 15 seconds. You guys seconds, ready? So we're done. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Nice. Oh, so I was going to go with portability. 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 Well, that was that very good. Idea. That's very good. Oh. oh. No. So, do you guys want to see the remaining answers? Yes. No, yes. did we go for that? No. 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 Where you you guys are Garrett's crew have won that round. What are the remaining answers no. left on the board? Well, that's not yet. Great answers. Great answers. Great answers. Great answers. But, top answer. Oh. Oh. Colours. Oh. 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 And, no visible screws. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So let's yeah. just repeat the question, question and the answers, Fletch. So, so what are the key selling points of the Surface Laptop. And out of the 100 RSPs that we interviewed, we got Colours, Alcantara Keyboard, Windows 10 and S Mode, Instant On and No Visible Screws. Let's go to the next round. To the next round. Yeah, we're moving on swiftly. Alright, what is the question for this round, Fletcher? What does Office 365 offer that Office Classic does not? Oh, oh fast in there again, One terabyte of online storage. Oh, oh is that an answer? Alright, Karen's crew, do you choose to play or pass? We choose to play. You choose to play. We can do a bustle round. Karen's crew? I'm confused. It's moo. Just moo it. Moo it. That's your buzzer. Alright. Okay, you guys ready? Mickey Reed, next up for Team Karen's crew. What else do you think is on the board? What does Office 365 have? The Office Classic, classic does, does not. not. Oh. Exclusive features? Exclusive features. Is it on the board, Fletcher? I'm going to... Do you want to reword it slightly? <laughs> no, he does not. You don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive features. Oh, they come for I'm, I'm going to give you this one. Oh. Is it up there? Is it up there? Always up to date. Always up to date. Always up to date with the most exclusive Very features. close. We decided to give that yeah. to you. All right, Karen, what is next? That was going to be mine, always up to date. Mm -hmm. um, three more options. When you say over Office Classic, you mean the original? Yes, we mean the picture. So okay. Office yeah. Home right. and Student or Office Home okay. Business? You're always connected. So always connected. It's a, oh, yeah, it's always yeah. there. Um, that's oh. No. Oh. Okay, it's all right. Not you might still get two more chances. What's happened to the countdown picture? The countdown was just about to come in. But oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. This is so fast. Right. That's so okay. fast. It's back, so to, back to you, Mr. <laughs> back to you, John. What is it? Right? So, this is RSP surveyed. What yeah. does it yeah. offer? Skype minutes. 60 Skype minutes. Oh, is that up is there? Is it on the board? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Okay. What does Office 365 <laughs> offer that Office Classic <laughs> does not? Man, these are like written down. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Mm. The thought, the thought in your face. Two more left, and it's two of the top ones as well. Renewed subscriptions. Renewed subscriptions. Is Seven, that on six. there? No, it's not. Unfortunately, Ooh. not. Oh, the team. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> so, what does Office Three Six Five offer that Office Classic does not? We've got the answers. You can share your subscription to 60 Skype minutes, always up to date, one drive storage, and there are two more. What are one of those two, Karen? Nine. Eight. 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 Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Four. Three. three. Two. Different versions. One. Different versions. No. No. Oh, that, was a, that, was, that was a good answer. But Good shall answer. we see what the, the young no, we'll see what the solitaires are about? Yeah. See what the solitaires are about. Yeah. Um, multiple devices. You can have it on multiple Ooh. devices. Oh, great right one. So all you can... the latest apps was the other answer. I was going to say apps. Yeah. So all the latest, uh, all the latest to date. Yes, yes. 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 Question, please. So, 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 the next question. Player number two. Player number two. You have to start with the buzzing. Yeah. For this question. Right. This is another round with six questions. Is that correct? So, six uh, answers. So what is question. the question? Flickers. Is it what makes a modern PC? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just mooshes. All right. <laughs> what is your What is your answer, man? Up to date apps. Up to date apps. 
No! no. <laughs> I'll get that correct, which means it's over yeah. to Susan Solitaire. So what was that? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play? Do you play want to pass? pass? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Would oh. you guys like to play or pass this round? The, the decision is handed to you. Play, play. Play, they're going to play, Susan going. Solitaire. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Bing, bing, so, All right, Olivia, what is your answer? What makes a modern, a modern PC? PC? Uh, touch. Touch? Mm. It's touch on the board, Fletcher. Mm, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well done. What an answer. Claudia, what makes a modern PC? Portability. Portability, Portability. is it on the board, Fletcher? Or, do you want to maybe think Slightly about that a little bit? Rephrase it. Rephrase it. Lights. Ooh, let's see. They are up there, but you might have stolen two answers. Oh! oh. 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 Congratulations, Susan, yeah. what makes a modern PC? Yes. Battery life. Battery life. <laughs> battery life. Is battery life on the board, da -da 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 -da. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Excellent. You guys are on fire. Susan has taken this round. There are two more left to go, Olivia. What makes a modern PC? Inking. Inking. Is inking on the board, Fletcher? Ooh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, I this, I'm not going to lie, this um, is a tricky one. The lucky this last, Claudia, what makes a modern PC? Uh, always connected. Always, connected. always connected. No. This is an Irish chance view. Yes. Right? It is. Yes. It is. Yes. Affordability? Affordability. Affordable? No. There's affordability up there. Is it on the board? Mm. Oh. <coughs> no. Olivia, lucky last chance for Susan Solitaire's What Makes a Modern PC? I would say two and one. Two, two and one. one. There's two and one up there. Mm. No. Oh. All right, Karen oh, crew, it is your turn to steal the round. If you get this question correct, you guys have won the round, leaving us two to one. Lucky last. <laughs> what do you think, team? Um, no, you only get one option to steal the round. You have to get this one correct, or Susan Solitaire's will be two to one. Mm. Mm. So we have to get it right. You've got to get it right. Four It doesn't matter how loud Lucky last. So, so far, uh, just to recap, the question is what is a modern PC? The answer is Sunday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Father's Day. Thin, light, battery touch oh, and anchors. Father's Day on the board. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Final answer oh. is Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Okay. What is your final answer? We, we come up with, with powerful. Powerful. Is powerful on the board, Fletcher? Mm. Oh! oh. So, that round goes to Susan Solitaire's. Oh. The last answer was... SSD. Yeah, so very, very close. Very close. Which is, an SSD yeah. is very powerful. It is very powerful. It is very powerful. Yeah. You were so close to that. It's us. Two to Susan Solitaire's, one to Caleb's crew. Oh. 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 So it is best to five. So what is the next question so in the new round? So yes, it's it's Karen versus Claudia. Are your buzzers ready? Can we just get a buzzer test? Okay. But <laughs> you're a chicken. Okay. No, you don't have to bang. Question is, Round four. What are the best features of Game Pass? No. Oh. Oh, the confidence. Oh, what are the best, the best features of Game, game Pass? Pass. Can we start the time of their uh, <laughs> weird? Xbox! <laughs> Xbox! It's Xbox! It's Xbox on the on board! The board. Mm. Oh, 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 all right! So oh, oh, handing over! So how, oh! Yeah, do you guys want to... Does K-Rod yeah. chance to start? Or yeah, no, would the, you guys like to play or pass? Play or pass? We can choose whether we play or pass. Would you like yeah. to play or pass, oh, Karen's we've got, crew? We've got five to think of, which is quite a... like. We've got the better off snatching it at the end than thinking of all five. Yeah. So what is that? Um, yeah. What, what, 
Play what, pass. Karen? Sure. I think we should pass. Pass the yeah. cake. Oh, yeah. I know. All right. Oh, so let's pass. add some tension so to the game. Karen and Karu have decided to pass this <laughs> round back <laughs> to Susan <laughs> Solitaire. Um, you get all the latest <coughs> released games. Ooh. And is that on the board? Place. All the latest release. Do you want to? There's there's one key word. One key word. I'm gonna really get. Party release game. Okay. First party release First party game on the day of launch. launch. Is that on the board, Fletcher? Uh, exclusives <laughs> on launch. Excellent. Exclusives on launch. Oh, oh, long. <laughs> Alright, Olivia. Um, is this like a multiple device thing as well? <laughs> we cannot oh, answer all questions. Oh, no, 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 I'm no! Yeah. Claudia, you guys still have two more chances. What is the question? Just it is, what are the best features of Game Pass? What are the best features of Game Pass? Um, multiplayer. Multiplayer. Is multiplayer <laughs> up there? No! I'm going to go with... Um, Monthly cost. There's a low monthly cost on there. Right answer. Is it there? Yes, it is. Great work. Great work. Great work. We still have three more answers left available. <laughs> Olivia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is a great subscription to the service that we offer. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Is it a low yeah. monthly cost where you get okay. exclusives on launch day? Um, what else is great about Xbox okay. Game Pass? A lovely back catalogue. Ooh, back is catalog a back catalogue up there? <clears throat> no. No. Oh. no! No! Was there an answer close up there? Yeah, come on. Not quite. Not quite. No, no. Karen's crew, I mean, need let's, one to steal this well, round. I, I think over a hundred games. Yeah. Oh, over over extensive games. game library. Extensive, is, is it over a hundred games or extensive yeah. game library? Yeah, they're the same. No, no, one to say. Okay. Back catalogue games, that's what I said. No. No, back catalogue games. Exactly what this is. Back catalogue would be referring to backwards compat as well. No, catalogue. Not backwards compatibility. Oh. I said backwards oh. catalogue games. Oh. Grey area. Doesn't a back catalogue meaning not the current I mean, ones. It's, okay, hey, hey, it's, it's too old. old. It's too old going into the last one. There's a lot of teaching in this room. Do you have one of those? The last yes, one yes, of the last yes. two answers of what are the benefits of Game Pass? Over 100 games, a low <laughs> monthly cost, exclusives on launch day, <laughs> offline oh, gaming. The so best multiplayer um, ecosystem? That's gold. That's gold. That's gold. That's gold. That's gold. Oh. But it's, there is. It's, sorry, the ecosystem is excellent. Yes, it is. Just quickly, can yeah. you explain offline. what you mean by offline, <laughs> offline gaming? Offline gaming with you Game Pass, can, what does that mean? You can actually be uh, some signed out of um, Xbox Live Gold or mm -hmm. Xbox Live for 30 days and still play the games that you've downloaded. Right. So that's awesome. So Game Pass isn't service. just a streaming service, you actually download the games <coughs> yeah. to play them, which uh, is super, super cool. And a low monthly cost as well. Yeah. What is Lucky the Last one? one? Fletcher? Game quality. So, that's a tricky one, right? And the yeah. reason behind that... Be that's what yeah, It would have yeah. been hard. But the reason behind that is there is a similar service out there, which is still very different. Which streams games which not. Yeah. Okay. Ma Maddie reads all over it. It's streams games, it's not downloaded to your PC. So or Xbox. Or Xbox. Yeah. Or Xbox. Yeah. So you yeah. get the, mm. the best yeah. game quality. You, you get the full game quality. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Okay. okay. Alright, team. We're coming into the final round of Team Showdown. We are currently 2-2, two two, so this is the decider. The final round. There has been a bit of controversy. We did take it to the judges, uh, but Karen's uh, crew did in fact make that last round. So, what is the final question? So, Let's bring it on. Final home. question for Susan and Jono to buzz. Oh, is that right? Yep. It is. Uh, what are the key features of the Microsoft Modern Keyboard? <laughs> oh, 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 I think we need oh, to go. I think we need to rewatch that. Who? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> who won that round? Susan Solitaire. Okay. All right. That round. Susan oh, Solitaire. Favorite Susan. Favoritism. I believe it rolled in your favour last time. It did. It did. <laughs> um, fingerprint. Fingerprint. X. Is button. Is fingerprint, fingerprint on the board? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, 
kisses. Whoa. One knows hello. One knows hello. Yes. Excellent. Thirty-six times. Look how well. One knows hello. Let's go. Biometric. Hey, is there are allowed discussions there, judges, bet between contestants? Is that yeah, we know. We're going to ask if we're going to play a part. Yeah. Okay. Don't we, yeah. mate? Yeah. 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 Very, very heated. The decider. The decider. Okay. So Susan um, Solitaire. Do you choose to play or pass? Oh, but man, but John knows it is. There are four more answers left on the board. And he'll get it. It's better to pass. Mm. He'll pass. I'm going to pass. Oh, oh all right. Karen's crew, so are you, get you ready? Start. You get a are you ready? John O'Cochran. Wired or wireless? Wired or wireless? Is that up there? Is that on the board? Remember, it's from the RSP point of view. Oh, no. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> One of the key features. One of the key features. There will be no cheating in this round, John I. <laughs> <laughs> Just after I said that. So, so what um, are the key features watching. of the Microsoft modern keyboard? The design? The design. Oh, it's design oh, on the design board. On Karen, what are you the key sound features of the yeah. Microsoft modern keyboard? Slim profile. Slim profile. Ooh. Kind of like the one. <laughs> it's a great one. Is it but up? is it on the board? <laughs> I can tell no. my first no. <laughs> You guys have Inbuilt one more. Inbuilt battery. Inbuilt battery. Is that up there? Very oh, fast no. answer, John. Well done. Oh, Inbuilt battery. It's on the board. Yeah. Two more, guys. Yeah. Two more. Very more. Nice. What I will say is the <laughs> elements of design there, but design as a whole is not the right answer. Neither is slim profile. So, oh, yeah. helping with got No, no. <laughs> hey, hey, that's helping you guys. Don't, yeah, don't question yeah. this. Yeah, you guys there can are two more answers. You got this. They have yours. one more chance to get this correct. Guys, Mickey Reed, what it. is? The key, the key features of the Microsoft mm -hmm. modern key. Lightweight. Lightweight. Ooh. It's lightweight on the board, Fletcher. Ooh. Is it there? Oh. No! Alright, Susan Solitaire, this is your chance to steal and ultimately take out this game of Microsoft Team Showdown. Ooh. What's it called? It's been some great answers. There have been some fantastic some answers, but out of the people we interviewed, not quite the quite answers there. that we that we were given. I don't know what to call it. I don't know the official terminology for it though. You, you don't need to whisper, it's like, you can't, you can't guess what you're saying. Just stare at them, just stare at them, just stare at them. Look at John's eyes, oh, lightweight. Okay, hey, look. <laughs> Look, just stare at them. Did you just say lightweight? Yeah, I think you just said lightweight. Yeah. Is that, is your, that final your final answer? answer? Oh, 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 no, no, I didn't. Ten, oh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is it to do with the security key touch that you can't hit the, people can't? Key touch your watch your key touches. Mm. No. no. So do we win? You did. Oh, you Take it down. Three and two. What a tight game. Karen, what a tight game. Tight game. Well, well played. Well played. Come on. 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 Keyboard travel. So oh. close. Oh, it's, so oh, it's not really. Yeah. What do you put under your arm? Travel. It's quite long. <laughs> no, no, no. The travel of the key. Yeah. How far the keys are created, how far yeah. they go down. Oh, how far they go down. That premium experience. I feel like people have been listening to our podcast because the final answer is. We do, but are they not nicely laid out like with specific not, ones? Not quite what, all of them. Not so what, the top? Yeah, what are some of the keys, keys on the Microsoft Modern Keyboard, John? You can lock it. You can lock you it. You can lock it from the keyboard. You you've got task view. You what, can can you, what can you lock from can't just specific? Just control L. Sorry, you can lock the device. Windows L. With a, Windows you L. can lock your device. You, you can lock your device there's just button, with the touch of a button. There's a function key. Also, no Windows L. No. I think it's a great answer. Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. It can only be one more. It can only be one more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much for joining us as always team. We have so much fun putting these together. Um, I know we say that every week. Um, that is a our, highlight though. That is it, a highlight it is always a highlight. It yeah. is always a highlight of our week. Um, please let us know your answer to question of the week. City or Serenity. You don't have to justify yourself. Yeah, Serenity's um, got to be the main. See, I've, I've recently um, become aware that maybe my, my obsession with constant sound isn't, isn't as normal as I thought it was. Maybe I it's just because you're a musician. Maybe. I don't know. But I would, I would love to hear if somebody also feels the same way I do about that, just to maybe... No, people definitely do. People definitely like, um, do. Um, Steph, my wife, was, was one of those people. Um, she struggled to come to suburbia. Okay, but, <laughs> but she's... she's all for it now. So. Okay, interesting. There's still hope for me, guys. I, yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks, Blake. Oh, I brought her to Serenity and she's never going to Alright, so City of Serenity as well. We would love to know what you guys think about Team Showdown. Um, that is very much something that we would love to take on tour. Um, yes. we, we played it in Shanghai, um, which I think we dropped in the last time's podcast. We yeah. would not let me talk about it because we wanted to to unveil it to yeah, you guys in style um, with uh, some, some great internal uh, competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let us know what you think about that. We would absolutely love to use it um, as a training resource when we're out and about uh, with you guys as well. So let us know what you thought. Let us know um, if, if you think Susan Solitaire's were wrong. There was a lot of controversy yeah, we're hearing about um, it in the room. Day. We've heard about it every day. Um, you're all friends until you're enemies, right? Yeah. yeah. Susan, <laughs> Susan hasn't come in today. I'm looking yeah, forward to hearing uh, the notes. It's just our fault. We heard it from the other team. Bit of bragging yeah. from uh, Mr. Jonah Cochrane. Yep. Yep. Always. Yeah. Always a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> Alright, awesome. As always, let us know if you have any questions, any comments, and we would love to hear another question of the week from you guys as well. But thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>